Hello everyone, my name is Alexander and today I want to show you how MS Excel works in testing hypothesis using data analysis for t-test dependent means or paired sample means. And before we go to this video, I work as a part-time college instructor and master teacher of senior high school handling research subjects and mathematics. T-test of dependent means. When are we going to use this statistical formula? That is always the question. Now, we use T-test of dependent means, also known as paired two sample means, if we want to find out if there is no significant difference between the means of the two dependent samples. Now, the two dependent sample talk about a one group, meaning the data are coming from one group, which is the data before and the data after. Now, mostly, when we are dealing with our discussion, we always start with the organic formula. Then we proceed on the data analysis application using the MS Excel, and later on, we will be dealing with assessment. Okay, now, this is the formula that when you are going to compute the value of the t-test or the t-computed using the t-dependent means, now we do have this formula. This is the summation of the difference divided by the square root of n summation of d square minus the square of the summation d all over n minus 1. We do have degree of freedom. And as well, we do have the critical value because this critical value will be used in testing if there is acceptance or rejection of our null hypothesis. But since we will not be dealing with this organic formula or the manual computation, then we are going to use the MS Excel. And before we are going to use the MS Excel, let me give you my illustrative example. Now, my example problem is all about coronavirus. Coronavirus, also known as the COVID-19, is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. And most people infected with the, with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. This is according to the World Health Organization. And the best way to prevent and slow down transmission is be well informed about the COVID-19 virus. Does the disease it causes and how it spread. Okay. Now, relative to, to this um, COVID-19, the Interagency Task Force, with collaboration of the other executive departments, imposed a four-week enhanced community quarantine in the most affected municipalities to lessen or to zero in the spread of the virus. Twelve randomly selected municipalities were selected and data were collected in two weeks interval to determine the number of positive cases. Now, here is the table of the positive cases among 12 randomly selected municipalities. We do have the first and second week, the number of positive uh, cases after the implementation of the ECQ, and then we have the third and the fourth week. Now, on the first and second week, we do have 7, 3, 3, 5, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 5. On the third and fourth week, we do have 2, 1, 
zero two one zero two two three one four and three. Now remember, when you are going to collect the data, there should always be alignment of your sample, meaning the scores collected before and the scores collected after align to the given sample, which is municipality 1, municipality 2, up to the municipality 12. Now, in this case, what is now the claim? Now, test the claim that there is significant or there is no significant difference between the positive cases in the first and second week implementation and third and fourth week implementation of ECQ or the Enhanced Community Quarantine at 0 0.05 level of significance. I repeat, our claim here is there is no significant difference between the positive cases two weeks after the implementation then two weeks another implementation of the ECQ at 0 0.05 level of significance. Okay, now we go. Okay, now using our Microsoft Excel in the data analysis application, and here is our data. Now we encode now the scores 7, 3, 3, 5, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 5. I repeat. Now, these are the positive cases of the 12 municipalities for the first two weeks, the first and second week. 7, 3, 3, 5, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 5. Same thing, we are going to record or encode the positive cases for the third and fourth week aligned with the 12 municipalities. 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, and 3. Now, we are going to recheck 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, and 3. Now, using the um, MS Excel, we are going to search or look for data, then click the data, then go data analysis. Now, under the data analysis, we do have the catalog. Look for t-test paired to sample for means. Then click OK. Now, we do have the dialog box, the variable 1. For variable 1, we are going to highlight the data collected for the first and second week. Then, for variable 2, we have 2 to 3. Then, the level of significance is 0 0.05. Then, if we are true, then click OK. Okay, now we do have now our computed value under the t-test paired to sample means. Looking in our sheet number 4, the t-computed value is 2.80. Is 2.80. While our critical value at 0 0.05 is 2.20 with degree of freedom 11. I repeat. The critical value at 0 0.05 level of significance using two-tailed tests is 2.20. We also have for one-tailed test, that is 1.79 or approximately 
Now, we will be using the critical value for two thing test and then the computed value. Our computed value is 2.80 while our critical value is 2.2 at 0 0.05 level of significance with degree of freedom 11. Therefore, what will be our decision? Our decision now is we are going to reject the claim. And what is the claim? The claim is there is no significant difference between the positive cases two weeks after the implementation and two and another two weeks of the implementation which the first and second week the third and the fourth week why it's because the computed value is greater than the critical value therefore the implementation of the enhanced community quarantine really lessen the the positive cases and the cooperation of the of the people of the municipalities okay there is really significant difference okay now i repeat if you will be using t test dependent means for um, or using the, the data analysis, kindly look at the data analysis uh, icon, then search for t-test paired to sample for means, then click OK. Okay, we are now through with our illustrative example. Then we proceed now in our application. Now, in this application, um, this is an application that you are going to answer if you really um, uh, able to catch up how data analysis application works and how data analysis really um, really empowered you in the computation of the computed t value under dependent means. Now, for the application, a psychologist is interested in the relationship between stress and short-term memory. Ten intellectually gifted children were tested prior to and after exposure to a stressful situation. Now, is there a significant difference between stressful and unstressful situations in terms of short-term memory? test the claim at 0 0.05 level of significance. Now, we do have 10 students and we do have the pre-stressed data and we do have the post-stress data. Okay. Now, try to answer this one and, and comment your answer in the comment section of the video and then I will notify if your answer is correct. And before I end with my presentation, follow my accounts. If this video helps you in calculating the computed value using data analysis, let me know by providing a comment in the comment section and thumbs up.